Hello flame tubers. I've just a few minutes ago finished painting my Panzer fours. So my Panzer company is coming on quite nicely. Seven Stugs and five Panzer fours. I'm not sure whether to continue and paint um put the dots on the uh, on these tanks to to make the ambush camouflage like I did with these bunker tanks for those who haven't seen this is what I'm calling a bunker tank a tank in a hold down, hold down position using the extra bits and pieces from my box set of plastic soldier company stoops just uh, not quite sure what to do about the back I want to try maybe some camo netting like was, well, that was suggested. But I'll do all five of these in this format. I've seen in one of the recent books that they are, they do have tank holes or tank turrets in sort of to make bunkers. So I'm sure these could play as that as well. I think that... Um, the uh, yeah, the painting on the on the plastic soldier stukes came out better than the battlefront ones. Battlefront ones I just had no control of the camera, basically swamped all the yellow. There's no dark yellow or donker or however you pronounce it. Was it even visible hardly visible left on the tanks. And the Panzer Fours also didn't come out too badly. Also found the one of the nozzles today when I was scratching for something else, I thought that I thought I'd lost. So I was using another nozzle tonight and it seemed to go a bit better finishing off these Panzer fours. I also made some copies of the of the bases I got. Made some copies and now I've got the mortar pits for my my US para mortar sections and uh, a couple of bases for any artillery if and when I ever get it. Painted them with black or matte black duca, used for spraying cars and things. Seems to take a lot better. When I tried painting the resin with a with a acrylic paint it just seemed to run off even after washing it. But this stuff seems to have stuck a lot better. And um in the background of my houses this is the one I was doing with the windows. I put the, the PVA glue with a bit of blue ink and let it run into the sort of back of the windows to give it the effect of like glass, reflections of glass. And I don't think it looks too bad. So I went and knocked up another one today. It looks the same. Just in a different color there. It's supposed to be dark gray, but it's looking rather blue to me. But anyway, maybe once it dries properly. And then we've got the sort of one that's almost double size the others. But then I'll split into like two two sort of houses within one structure. And uh, my first attempt at a corner house. So we'll have to see how all this goes. I'm glad that I finally got these tanks. Also, only did I never really realize, but I hadn't put the, the machine guns on the stugs. So I got that done as well, although they, they're just yellow, they're just a yellow color. There's no, no camo that's got onto them because the camo was already done, but uh, most of the gun will be painted in other colors in any case. So. And uh, just looking at it now, I have to put aerials on. I don't know where the aerials go on the Panzer Force. I must ask on the on the Flames of War forums where the actual aerials are mounted on the Panzer Force. As I had put aerials on the on the two uh, battlefront um, stoops, and I've done one of the plastic soldier, and I must finish the rest. I think it actually makes the model look a little bit better with the aerials. I don't know what 
have everyone else thinks. Uh, just done with a, a bit of thin fishing line, quite flexible, takes paint. Just select a nice straight section with a slight bend and just bend it that it sort of bends towards the back and it looks like it's, you know, that the tank's in movement and the area is bending a bit. Also just looking two of these two of these bunker tanks I still have to put green dots on. The green dots go on the yellow bits. Yellow dots go on the brown and the green bits. But then green dots go on the yellow bits. Well that's what the that's what the guy said on the forum. So I see I've only two of them I haven't done the green dots. I really don't know. When I look at this, I really can't decide whether to go with the dots for the rest of the tanks or not. And I really don't know whether I should repaint those two stubs. They sort of look so dark compared to all the rest of them. And then nothing's been washed or anything, so they're going to get even darker in time to come. Now my decals, I just got an email today saying that my Half tracks and my decals and a few odds and ends are on their way. So when they come, I can put some. I don't know how to pronounce the word Balkan Krauser. Basically, the German crosses, black with black and white crosses. Also got some some um, divisional. Signs.